How's it going, everyone? Nutty New here. I'm your host today for today's podcast. We're headed out to Wasilla. And today's talk is going to be about uh, political, politicians, corruptions, and stuff like that, sex scandals. So make sure you're over 18 and make sure you're into this kind of stuff. If you're not into this kind of stuff, you can go ahead and sign out. So today's topic is going to be the... <coughs> it's going to be about the uh, resignation of the mayor of Anchorage, Alaska, Ethan. Ethan Berkowitz. I can't really pronounce <coughs> his last name. <coughs> so <coughs> I'm going to lay down some facts or some stuff according to the news. And then we'll go ahead and talk about opinions and speculation. And then uh, we'll let you guys discuss what you guys want to talk about in the comment section below. <coughs> so let's keep it nice and clean. So this is what happened about last week or early this week. Uh, there was a news anchor. There was a news anchor named Maria Athens, and um, she made a video and posted on her uh, Facebook page, her public Facebook page, saying that uh, the mayor has posted nude photos on a underage website, underage teen girls website, whatever that is. So. She was gonna. So she made a video saying that she has proof that there has been photos of Mayor posting on the underage girl website, and later on that evening during the ten o'clock news or something like that, she would go about. She would go on about and talk more about that story later on that day. That never happened. So when she released that video, it kind of went viral, and then the uh, local police. And the local FBI got into it. They later found out that was incorrect. Hello there, Maria Athens from Fox ABC CW News at National Alaska. Breaking news, according to reliable sources, Anchorage Mayor Ethan Berkowitz has his male genitalia posted on an underage girl's website. Coming up tonight, Fox 4 News at 9, ABC News at 10, CW News at 12.30, and Newsnet National for sure will cover this. Yeah, I heard it here first. Thank you. I think it helped it. Sure it did. Either that day or the other following day, the mayor decided he wanted to resign. His reason for resigning was he was having a inappropriate sexual relationship with Maria Athens, the news anchor. And keep in mind that the mayor is married. He does have a wife. So that was his reason for resigning. He's going to resign at the end of this week, October-ish, October 23rd, something along that line. (coughs) During the day when uh, Maria, the news anchor, released that video, (coughs) she also went back to the news station that she worked for, and she wasn't allowed there anymore. She got into a conflict, or she got into a fight with one of the guys there, who happens to be her manager and also her boyfriend and she was arrested for misconduct or something like that she was later she was later then released on bond or something so that's pretty much the story and yes I know I'm missing more details but that's the general baseline but then what's get crazier is that before she released that video there was a voicemail that was captured of her leaving a voicemail to the mayor, Maria leaving a voicemail to the mayor, and the voicemail was pretty bad. It was like a blackmail. It was almost like a blackmail voicemail. Ethan, it's Maria Athens from Fox ABC CW Newsnet National Alaska. Uh, I just learned through my uh, Emmy Award winning journalism, you are also a pedophile in like little girls and children. And there's a website. I'm so fucking exposing you. I'm going to get an Emmy. So you either turn yourself in, kill yourself, or do what you need to do. I will personally kill you and Mara Kimmel, my goddamn self, you Jewish piece of living fucking shit. You have met your match, motherfucker. You have met your motherfucking match. I can't believe I am such a good person and thought I loved you. I fucking hate, I don't even hate you. I will pray for your Zionist fucking ass, you piece of shit loser. And I'm putting this on the news tonight. Bye. Have a great Friday, you motherfucker. So now those are some of the facts. 
and if you guys want more detail, you guys can go research more. Now, let's go ahead and speculate and also give us talk about give, let's go ahead and talk about our opinions. <clears throat> let's go ahead and discuss some opinions, some stuff that <clears throat> we have learned from this. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, I want to say that <clears throat> if you are a professional or a public flicker, celebrity, politicians, anything that anything where you're a public figure it's very very hard for you to do any kind of stuff like this because you have a reputation to hold up to <coughs> so <coughs> politicians <coughs> uh, news anchors celebrities even police departments people that work for the public <coughs> you can't be doing stuff like this and when you do stuff like this <coughs> um, the locals will news this against you to bring you down so what we found out is that this lady Maria was blackmailing Ethan Ethan to sign to resign or do whatever or else she has proof of this and this and the mayor did resign now if you were innocent you wouldn't resign so the mayor was definitely wrong and he knew he did something wrong or the news anchor Maria she really did have proof of something it might not be that he was posting on under on a girl's underage website but I'm assuming Maria and the mayor had a relationship a sexual affair and maybe he maybe she had like photos or videos of him doing something that could really mess up his reputation and that's probably why the mayor resigned in order for her to not release that information. Now, if you were to think about it, if I went to the mayor and be like, hey, I have proof that you did this, and the mayor's like, uh, no, you don't, he would never resign over me. But if he was willing to resign, it obviously means that the proof was there and that Maria was really going to release something pretty crazy into the world. <clears throat> now, here's my prediction. <clears throat> I think that they had a affair and it got nasty and she probably demanded something and he probably uh, denied it <clears throat> and that's probably when she started to thread him and I think what she was going to do was <clears throat> after she posted that video <clears throat> I think she was going to try to get on air that night where she says around 10 o'clock she was going to talk about the story so I think around that time she was going to expose him and then I think she was going to quit on air now, we've seen this happen before in Anchorage, Alaska. A couple years ago, one of the news anchor, she quit online, or she quit on air. She was like, F this, I quit. And she was one of the president for this cannabis club. So, we've seen this happen before, where news anchor, when they get mad, or they want to take it upon the, take it upon their self, they're willing to do stuff on air, on live TV, to send out their message and then kaboom they'll just quit or ruin the career like at that point they don't care anymore about their career so in my prediction I think that Maria had real solid evidence of something that she was gonna expose about the mayor the mayor got scared and decided to resign in order for her to not expose it and they had a really nasty relationship I'm, I'm assuming they had a nasty relationship <coughs> And it got pretty crazy. So I think that's what happened um, on their conflict. Now, there's way more stuff to it, I'm assuming. But let's talk about stuff that I've heard. Uh, somebody like me that works in the media entertainment business, you guys need to realize that politicians, they may sound like they're awesome and great, there are great people, which some of them are, but you guys need to keep in mind that a politician, business leaders, celebrities, these kind of industries are some of the most corrupt, cutthroat, dirtiest business ever. <clears throat> so people that aren't in it, you probably will never understand, but people that have done it or are in it, they know what I'm talking about. What do I mean by this? you're a politician celebrity you can't be going around messing with people messing with the regular citizen 
because the regular citizen might blackmail you. So you start messing with people at your levels. Either you're a politician messing with other politicians, sleeping with each other, sex affair, whatever the case may be, because you have that type of group only. <coughs> you can only work with those type of group because that's your bubble. You can't start going around and mess with the regular folks. You know, you don't see celebrities trying to date the regular fans and stuff like that. They date other celebrities because that's their bubble. <coughs> and I want people to know that even politicians are some of the <coughs> not all of them, but even politicians, some of them are really, really corrupt, dirty, and stuff like that, you know. There's lots of dirty business. I'm not gonna assume or accuse anybody of doing it, but it can get pretty dirty. And if you know about it, you know about it. And some people, you know, the regular citizen, when they think of politicians, uh, leaders, uh, officers, chiefs, they think that, you know, all you see is the good image. You see the great image of what they do, what they do for work. But you guys gotta know that we are all human beings and at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We have needs. We have wants. And stuff like that gets into you. There's been tons of stories and tons of cases of, you know, police around the states, all over the world, police in Anchorage who have, you know, sexual affairs with people and stuff like that. And it's crazy, you know. Even in Alaska, there was a trooper that had an affair with somebody that he pulled over. All this kinds of stuff. And we need to realize that we are only human. We make mistakes. We have desires, whether it's sexual desire, uh, money desire, uh, power desire, reputation desire, um, stuff like that. <coughs> so to so to talk more about this, uh, the mayor the mayor resigned. His last day is going to be the before the end of this month. Um, don't know what's going to happen. You know, don't know what's going to happen with the whole who's going to be the next mayor. But I want to know what you guys think was going to happen. To me, I think that the lady, the news anchor Maria, I think she had solid proof of something really, really bad against the mayor. And she was going to release that to the world until she got stopped. And the mayor probably got threatened. You know, he was like, oh, snap. You know, she does have proof. I know she has the proof. Uh, it's better for me to quit now than make it worse. So we can only spec speculate what will happen. Um, it's just a really nasty story. And again, these stories are very, very common with politicians, stuff like that in the world, celebrities, stuff like that in the world. Alaska is just a small place, so when something like this happens, it's like hot topic news, you know? But I want to remind everyone that we are all humans. We make mistakes. And if you decide to be a politician or a city figure, you know, a city leader, state leader, whatever you want to call it, you got to really watch your back and watch out what you do because stuff like this can really, really hurt you. So you have to, like, fight the urge. You know, it's, it's the same thing that goes for, like, priests, and pastors, you know, they are such a high leader that when they do anything bad, you know, it ruins their reputation. You guys all seen stories and cases of priests and pastors being child molester, pedophile, stuff like that. You know, I don't have to talk about it. I'm not, and we can't deny it. We're not going to just sit here and deny it. But yes, it happens. It happens all the time. Stuff like that, you know. So you got to think about that when you want to take on a career or a career or a job that requires you to do this stuff like that you got to really watch out what you do who you hang out with what you say what you do because any small mistake this any small mistake that the world sees or your city sees they'll try to use that against you so that's what i have for today's talk um in anchorage alaska it's been going around the whole interweb lately uh, about the whole mayor resigning um, some people are really happy because a lot of folk, a lot of people <coughs> wanted the mayor out of the office. Yeah, a lot of people <coughs> wanted the mayor out of the office, <coughs> and 
and now he's finally getting out of the office. Um, you know, people that were pro police, um, people that were <coughs> were wanting to open back up Anchorage. You guys seen all the protest video I done stuff like that. So a lot of people are excited for it. Um, as far as what I know, I don't hear anybody really backing the mayor up right now at this point. You know, and like I said, we're all humans. We make mistakes. It is what it is at the end of the day. Hopefully, everybody will get better. You know, people might just move out of Alaska now. The mayor might just move out of Alaska. The Maria Ethan, she might just move out of Alaska, you know, start a new career. But it's pretty crazy. I want to know. I want to let. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know I might not give out. I know I probably didn't give all the details, but and again, I just want to give you guys a quick summarize of the story of what went wrong, what happened, and just a little bit of my opinion. So please feel free to go ahead and discuss in the comic session below. Uh, be civil, be nice to each other, and you know, you don't have to bash anybody, you know, like I said, we all make mistakes. You know, is it wrong that the mayor was married and he wanted to have a sexual affair with another woman? You know, people have different morals, you know. <clears throat> if you're religion, you know, that's if you're, if you're religious, it's wrong for you to do that. But there's, our, there's other people that have multiple relationships. There's people out there that have two wives. There's people out there that have the relationship. I forgot what it's called where... Um, you know, a guy girl can also date another guy girl, and they'll be completely fine with it. So <clears throat> it all depends on who you ask. Is it wrong that he had a sexual affair with another lady while he was married? You might get two answers out of it. You might get three answers. So who is it to say that that's wrong? You know, it might be wrong to a religious man. But to the average Joe who's old, who's in more into an open relationship, he or she might be cool with it, you know? So at the end of the day, it's a crazy world. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. Um, and these are just some of the consequences we got to go through. So I'll go ahead and leave the video, um, leave this vlog the way it is. And I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. If you guys got more details on the case... Um, real facts feel free to leave in the comment section below but uh, that's the story of the mayor of Anchorage Alaska resigning and why he resigned and I'll catch you guys next time have a good day have a great weekend much love bye bye